What is going on guys welcome back to another video I hope you're having an amazing day today's video we are going to be taking a look at the official MIO beta based on Android 10 for our Redmi Note 7 Pro so if you don't already know Redmi Note 7 or the Note 7s Lavender did actually get a beta based on Android 10 itself in December but due to coronavirus everything was just pushed around now Xiaomi can't just risk their developers lives onto some stupid updates so everything is just now postponed again like for one to two months so again over here we have the first Android 10 beta for our Note 7 Pro based in China so our global stable update would be again pushed around until like May. I know that's quite far away but considering how laggy this build is, May early seems a good time to launch this update. I know again we would be in like third beta of Android 11 I guess but we have to just deal with it. Again if you can see over here quite a few changes right over here but as in global markets it just doesn't mean anything. So in this video pretty much all the features that you see just take them with a grain of salt that it would eventually come with 11. 3 or something in global stable so again over here as you can see we have the android 10 gestures right over here running very fine again this is quite laggy to be honest i don't know why but something has to do with the launcher or the framework that the latest mio is running on again on the left you have the normal app world again as you can see the chinese app world looking and feeling very good as you can see lot of good animations and onto the launcher so again over here i'm running the latest 4.16 launcher which has all the new animations and features so we have the android 10 gestures right over here and again as you can see the animations are very slowed down and fluid i mean they really feel as half as any kind of stock android or even compared to the poco phone f1 but as you can see the animations are very fluid again exiting and going inside the app is very beautiful but there is a massive lag in the whole ui i just don't know why as you can see even the recent apps panel does get a bit of a animation upgrade and then there are few features removed over here and there so going through all the apps as you can see weather and everything do get a bit of a upgrade even our global stable one would be also getting one so for example if i just add a place directly right over here it would give me a preview and ask me whether i want to just pin it onto my start page or anything but as you can see it looks something like this pretty revamped then again going back you have clock and everything even through gallery gallery is a bit upgraded so as you can see the album is now in grid rather than being in list you have trash bin all photos smart albums which again uses ai which was xiaomi working on for quite a while i guess since like miui 9 on rearranging photos again something that one ui has so coming back you also have the memories right over there you have the games icon completely revamped even going through the security security app is completely latest so everything is present right over here like the ultra battery saving game turbo which voice changer and everything which i did actually review month back so if you just don't follow the channel just subscribe down there i review each and every single smaller feature that comes to mio eventually but then again you have quite few upgraded icons like the find device and anything but this app does actually support the dark mode which is quite good again all the ui has been upgraded so coming back you have calendar themes just pretty much everything with minor upgrade so directly going through the camera again as this is china beta we have the latest camera apk right over here so you have the 48 megapixel mode you have photo and in the ai there is not a lot of changes like you don't get anything like moon mode or anything Again, the HDR and everything just seems as similar as before, but the animation seems a bit different. But now if you go to the video, there is no 4K recording. Now I completely forgot this phone does actually support 4K recording into the stock camera. But as you can see, 1080p 60fps and directly 720p. Now I have turned off the stabilization inside the settings right over here. As you can see, image stabilization off for the video. Still, it doesn't have any kind of 4K support. Now I think it would be added later on but as if right now Xiaomi has removed it. Even if you go to the short video there is just pretty much nothing. There is no TikTok filters, there is no quality scope literally. Uh, like all the features have been removed through here like the durations and everything. So again a very plain experience to be honest. Nothing in terms of camera like the Memoji and everything just embedded right over here. You do have the night mode and everything just like before. So coming back going through system UI and everything. It's just same, you do get normal toggles as you get in MIUI China beta. But now if you just revoke the volume panel, it stays there a bit longer on some of the phones. That's cause of the Mi Mix Alpha, as it doesn't have physical buttons on the side, it just stays a bit more longer for all the phones. But now if you just go to the settings app, as you can see, normal China beta settings app, my device, all specs, there you go, Android 10, February patch. Now I don't mind being this not March, even though this is today's build, like March 4. But as you can see Android 10 with its all glory and lag which would be fixed soon so no worries about that. 
so coming back pretty much just nothing right over here so if you just go to normal settings and everything you have connection and sharing which has me share cast everything just upgraded again these are just some china beta thingies which would be different on the global stable but as you can see me share looking very good like it's now supporting five different platforms which is just great like xiaomi phones computers vivo realme oppo and again the ui looks much more polished than what we get on the global stable so coming back lock screen just nothing display again in display you have dark mode which is now completely global supported as this is android 10 so you have global force dark mode which is a developer option and then adjust wallpaper to the dark mode which is something MOU didn't had but it is a very common feature again seen on to the one ui much before so again if you have a completely black wallpaper it will actually apply the dark mode you have wallpaper themes everything is just same if you go to the password and security now of course you can add up to multiple face datas or i guess two but why would you want to do that just let me know in the comment section below i don't know any kind of possible reasons but coming down battery performance apps additional settings just pretty much nothing now if you go to the full screen display you do have the option to hide this full screen indicator which has all the android 10 gestures so i can just switch between apps like this as you can see very convenient then again i can just completely hide it like into the previous miui which looks much more cleaner like i can still switch apps like this i guess or it just completely glitches on this new launcher but coming back you have mi ai which is none used to us as it doesn't work in english you have screen time which is digital well-being in india and the global markets but screen time is actually quite polished like this is a very finished product when compared to the Google's alternative, but you do have the focus mode and everything, which you can of course try at least for one minute if you just want to appreciate their UI and how much effort they have put onto something which probably never will be used by a common person. But going to the special features, you do have a lot of them. So Game Turbo, Tap Plus, which is a Chinese service, you have quick replies, which do actually work in portrait only, no landscape support like the One UI or the Auction OS yet. Then you have the light mode, second space, kids mode, then again, MIUI app, which again has fine footage in gallery, just normal stuff. You also have the light mode. Well, this is quite different. I thought this was embedded inside this light mode. Wow. Quite the confusion right over there. But coming back, just pretty much nothing. As this is Android 10, you do get services and feedback and accounts and sync. There is no location option right over here. So again, I guess they have just forgot to add it. But I guess if you just search it right over here, it should pop up. It's under password and security, which is a bit weird as in MIU, they have shifted it down there. But as this is Android 10, you do get some Android 10 features. So for example, if you just go to the app permissions, now you can set it for always in use, while the app is in use, notify if it's using or deny, which is like extremely great and much more improved even than the Android 11. As Android 11 also supports ask it every single time, which is again pretty great. So again, we would be seeing that soon right over here. And then pretty much all the normal Android 10 upgradations like the wallpaper API and stuff. And yeah guys, that's pretty much it for the official update of MIO Android 10. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you found this helpful, please drop a like and subscribe down there for more content like this. See you guys in the next one. Peace.